friends, welcome back to Brian's Math Club. Today we'll be learning how to solve compound inequalities. There are two types of compound inequalities, which are known as AND compound inequalities and OR compound inequalities. The reason we call them AND and OR is because either the inequalities will be conjoined with the word AND or the word OR. The reason we have these two words is because when you graph the solutions to each of these inequalities, Either the solution will be between the two points or it will be going in opposite directions. So for the AND compound inequality, your solution overall for both of the inequalities will be between the two points on the graph. However, for the OR compound inequality, it can go in opposite directions. Let's go ahead and solve these examples to understand this concept. Here we have x plus 8 is greater than or equal to 9 and x over 7 is less than or equal to 1. In order to find the solutions to these inequalities, we must use inverse operations. When you're adding 8 to x, in order to get rid of it, we have to use the inverse of addition, which is subtraction. So we will subtract 8 from both sides. Positive and negative 8 cancel each other out, and we're left with x is less than or equal to 1. This is the solution to this inequality. Now let's go ahead and find the solution to this inequality over here, which is x over 7 is less than or equal to 1. If x is being divided by 7, we must use the inverse of division, which is multiplication. So we will multiply by 7 on both sides. When you multiply by 7, it cancels the divided by 7 out because the uh, inverse of division is multiplication. Therefore, we are left with x is less than or equal to 7 times 1, which is 7. And this is the solution to this inequality. Now to find the solution to the compound inequality, we must graph. Let's go ahead ahead and make our number line. And now we have to label it. So Remember that the positive numbers go on the right side of the number line and the negative numbers go on the left. All right, now that we have our number line labeled, let's go ahead and plot the points. We have one, and remember, if it is a greater than, is greater than or equal to and less than or equal to symbol, then it will be a shaded dot, and if it's just greater than or less than, it will be an open circle. So this case, in this case, we have a greater than or equal to symbol and a less than or equal to symbol. So we will have closed or shaded circles on both of the points. So here we have a shaded circle on 1 and a shaded circle on 7. Since this is an AND compound inequality, the solution will be in between these two points. And so we will graph or simply shade in between the two points x is greater than or equal to 1, that means the solution could be 1 or greater than it, and x is less than or equal to 7, so it could be 7 or less than 7. And so all the solutions to this compound inequality are in between these two points. Now let's go ahead and do the or compound inequality. Here we have 2x is less than 10, or x over 2 is greater than 3. In order to get rid of the 2x, we must divide by 2, since the inverse of multiplication is division. And so the 2 and 2 cancel each other out, and we're left with x is less than 5 as our solution. Here we have x over 2 is greater than 3. We will multiply by 2 on both sides, because we know that the inverse of division is multiplication. The 2s will cancel each other out, and we're left with x is greater than 6. And this is the solution to this inequality. Now to graph this, we must make our number line. Let's go ahead and number it. So we have negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3. So this number line will end at 8. Okay, now let's go ahead and plot the points at the solution. So we have x is less than 5, less than is going to be an open circle at 5, and then we have x is greater than 6, greater than will also be an open circle at 6. Now we know that this is an OR compound inequality. That means the 
when you graph it, it doesn't have to be in between the points. Here it says x is less than 5. So all the solutions that are less than 5 lie on the left side of the point. So we're going to shade on the left side. Here we, it says x is greater than 6. So it's going to be to the right side of this point. And so this is how you solve compound inequalities. Here you can see that when you have an and compound inequality, the solution is going to be in between the points. And when you have an or compound inequality, it can go in opposite directions. This is it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you guys next time. Bye!